Hey guys, it's the summer and we're still selling our eco heat units. So plenty of you are looking ahead at the rising fuel prices and getting our unit in time for the winter. It's a quiet time for feedback because people aren't running their stoves. But the consistent picture across the last year is that a five kilowatt stove with a Rico heat circulating the heat from it is heating a two bedroom house, both on one level in bungalows, boats and cabins, um, and on two floors. You also get away from having one really hot area around the stove and the rest cold. Um, the pumped air is stirring the air and the heat um, between the hot and the cold. So it's mixing it all up and you get a much more even temperature whether that's in a 60-foot workshop, in a barn conversion, or a two-up, two-down terraced house. Anyway, this video is about fitting the units. Here's a unit. Short nozzle on the front, long at the back. And on a disassembled or a new stove, it's as simple as going like that and putting the next flue section on top. And, it, and then you seal it with your, with your fire clay. If your chimney is going into a uh, register plate up into the, uh, into the chimney layer, it's as simple as that. The flue at Andy's place at Manorwood Designs is probably as complicated as you're going to have to deal with because it has a fixed angle in a solid flue, taking the chimney through the wall and out to above the level of the eaves. Nick Hutchinson, a heat ass installer from Shrewsbury Way, was fitting the unit, so the first thing he did was to undo the collar fixing to loosen it enough to get some play in the angle section, which allowed us to remove the lower pieces. Here's the great unboxing. You see, we send them with the air pump, then the unit connected to the air pipes with the silencer at the end. So then you just drop the unit into the stove collar. We actually also moved the stove on Andy's installation to increase the convection flow around it. It's something like a 17 kilowatt and was warping the plate behind it because it was fitted so tightly. So that meant fiddling with the angles, but that done, Nick measured the section to be removed and cut it off with an angle grinder. The flue was then fitted back together and we made sure it was straight and the joints were sealed with fire cement. That's it as far as the flue's concerned. You then just need to find where to put the air pump. Andy wanted to put it on a shelf whilst they're still doing the building work in the workshop, but was planning to put it through the wall later on. And that's it, it really is that simple. You need to be competent and careful, but that's largely because you need to be able to check the existing flue to make sure it's working properly. If your stove and flue are balanced, the bottom meter or so should be burning clean, so there isn't soot collecting in this in this area but if this if the flue isn't working properly you get soot collecting down at the bottom it's not generating enough heat through the stove um, and into the flue section to burn it off clean and if that's happening your installer needs to fix it or don't fit a reco heat um, because where there is soot collecting then the unit is an additional surface and that will soot up just like the flue and block up. So never fit it in those circumstances. You know, if you don't want to fit it, just send it back, we'll give you a full refund. Um, but what you really need to do is to get your, ch your chimney flue and the draw through it sorted out. Um, so send it back if it's doing that. That's what you need a competent person for, to check that more than the fitting itself. Um, but you know, then you get it signed off for building regs um, and it's all you know, easy peasy. So that's it. Thanks to Nick for his lovely work. His details are in the notes um, and he does chimney sweeping and installing and he also supplies his own stoves. So if you're anywhere around Shrewsbury, he's your man. Thank you very much. 